In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 2nd, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Milwaukee Brewers vs. Arizona Diamondbacks The Milwaukee Brewers face the Arizona Diamondbacks with both teams looking to finish the season strong from opposite ends of the National League standings. The Brewers have a 69-61 record and are hoping to return to wild card position after a 12 to the 15th of August while the Diamondbacks have a 62-68 record but with a 22-16 second half record have improved drastically in the National League West Division. For the upcoming game, the Brewers will turn to Eric Lauer as their starting pitcher while the Diamondbacks will turn to Zach Davies, who has only allowed four runs in the last three starts. The Brewers are 8-2 in their last 10 when their opponent allows two runs or less in their previous game. The Brewers are also 4-1 in their last five games on grass and are 4-1 in their last five versus a team with a losing record. The Diamondbacks are 8-17 in their last 25 during Game 2 of a series and are 49-105 in their last 154 versus a team with a winning record. The Diamondbacks are also 15-33 in their last 48 Friday games. It may come as a surprise, but the Diamondbacks have been one of the better teams since the All-Star break. They were 21-16 since the All-Star break before Thursday's game and had won five of their last six games. Zach Davies will be on the mound for Arizona and after a lackluster first half of the season. He's been far better since the Midsummer Classic. He has a 3.49 earned run average since the All-Star break, but he's been facing some of the relatively weaker offenses such as the Royals, Giants, and Rockies. The Brewers' offense hasn't been the most powerful this season, but they still have a stronger starting nine than those three teams. Milwaukee went into August leading the National League Central but finished the month six games back of the Cardinals. It was a terrible month for the Brewers as they went 12-15 and hit .220 as a team. However, they went into Thursday's game having won four of their last five games and were starting to finally gain some momentum. Eric Lauer will be on the mound for the Brewers and he had an impressive August with a three earned run average in 30 innings. He has an advantage against the Arizona offense since they ranked 22nd in OBP and OPS against left-handed pitching this season. The Brewers have the better lineup and a much stronger bullpen, so even though the pitching matchup is fairly even, Milwaukee is the stronger team in this matchup. At near even odds, the Brewers offer value on Friday night, so the Milwaukee Brewers money line is our full game side pick. The Diamondbacks have averaged nearly 7 runs per game over their last 10 games heading into Thursday night. The Brewers are 5-1-1 to to in their last 7 road games to the over. In addition, Lauer's earned run average is a run higher on the road at over 4 than it is at home this season. The Brewers have hit 16 home runs in their last 10 road games, so I fully expect them to exploit the suddenly homer-friendly chase field. In the last 3 games played in Arizona, there have been 5 home runs hit and 55 runs scored. The fireworks will continue tonight. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. San Diego Padres vs. Los Angeles Dodgers On Friday night, the San Diego Padres and Los Angeles Dodgers meet in the first game of a three-game set at Dodger Stadium. The Padres will start right-hander Yu Darvish while the Dodgers counter with Dustin May. The Padres are 6-1 in their last seven road games and 5-1 in their last six overall. The Dodgers are 64-18 in their last 82 home games and 45-12 in their last 57 overall. The over is 5-2 in Padres' last seven road games. The under is 4-1 in Dodgers' last five overall. The Padres are 15-43 in the last 58 meetings in Los Angeles and 15-37 in the last 52 meetings. Hugh Darvish will get the call for the Padres in the first game of this critical series with the Dodgers. He gave up three runs in seven innings and a win over Kansas City last week. 
He also served up five hits, walked two batters, and struck out six. The 36-year-old vet has pitched into the sixth and 23 of his 24 starts and brings a 3.41 earned run average, 0.99 WHIP, and a 153-29 Kelvin BB ratio over 155-plus innings. Los Angeles is arguably the best team in the majors, but the Padres desperately need these games to stay afloat in the hotly contested National League wild card race. San Diego has won six of their last seven on the road and got their ace on the mound. Dustin May has been good for Los Angeles but has logged too few innings to make a call on his 1.64 earned run average just yet. Hugh Darvish hasn't been as good on the road as he's been at home, but he's had success against the Dodgers, holding current hitters to a .204 batting average with 57 strikeouts and 162 at-bats. Dustin May has pitched just 11 innings this season, so the jury is still out on him. The San Diego Padres are playing the better ball this week, and they have to beat the Dodgers at some point to be taken seriously. The value is with the Padres and the plus money here. So the San Diego Padres money line is our full game side pick. The Padres and Dodgers are both getting it done from the mound this season. Coming into this matchup with Los Angeles, the Padres are top 10 in staff earned run average, WHIP, walks allowed, and strikeout rate. Darvish, along with a veteran pitching staff, has carried them through some early season offensive struggles. Los Angeles leads the majors in multiple pitching categories, including earned run average and WHIP. I anticipate the Padres winning this game, but both pitchers will have their way here. The total number has gone under in six of San Diego's last nine games overall. Look for this to be a slow grind of a game, with a final score looking closer to a soccer game. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Philadelphia Phillies vs. San Francisco Giants The San Francisco Giants will host the Philadelphia Phillies in the first game of their series in the National League East vs. National League West from Fenway Park on Friday night. The weather is expected to be extremely humid with a 0% chance of rain and 6.5 miles per hour winds. The Phillies are 4-1 in their last five Friday games and are 10-3 in their last 13 road games versus a team with a losing record. The Phillies are also 6-2 in their last eight during game one of a series. The Giants are 9-25 in their last 34 games following a loss and are 6-20 in their last 26 when their opponent scores five runs or more in their previous game. The Giants are also 6-21 in their last 27 versus a team with a winning record. Philadelphia are on the road and about as far from home as it gets, but they've been out west all week. While they didn't get things started the way they had hoped against the Diamondbacks, it's safe to say they settled in. They closed out that series with a dominating 18-2 win on Wednesday. That was the most runs they've scored all year, and it helped them continue to solidify their position for a National League wild card spot. Meanwhile, the Giants were just swept at home and have now lost seven straight games. They are also seven games under .500 and 10.5 games back in the wild card race. Both teams are coming into this game having had Thursday off, but the Phillies should be comfortable on the West Coast now and can take this first game. They'll be doing so with a healthy Bryce Harper and the rest of the lineup taking on Giants starter Alex Cobb. He wasn't on the mound for the only other series between these teams, but he's been one of San Francisco's weaker starters. They've now lost six of his last seven starts, defeating only Arizona. On the flip side, Philly starter Kyle Gibson is out for his 10th win and is coming off one of his best starts. He pitched seven scoreless innings while striking out nine batters. He allowed more than two runs just once in his five starts of August and now gets a Giants team in turmoil. Everything looks set for the Phillies to transition their recent blowout win into a strong weekend series. Seeing the Phillies as slight underdogs provides value in this spot as the Giants should fall against against them here. So the Philadelphia Phillies money line is our full game side pick. The Phillies are averaging 4.64 runs per game and 4.49 runs per game on the road. They averaged 4.67 runs per game in their last three games against the Giants. With San Francisco giving up 4.17 runs per game at home, the Phillies will hit their average in this game. The Giants are averaging 4.41 runs per game and 4.43 runs per game at home. They averaged 5.67 runs per game in their last three games against the Phillies. The Giants were also at home during the week, and two of those three games finished with at least nine runs. That was with aces Carlos Rodon and Joe Musgrove involved, so there should be even more confidence in this play. The Phillies' most recent series against the Diamondbacks was also ridiculously high scoring. The lowest scoring of the three games still saw 15 total runs. With Philly losing to Arizona, that's a perfect illustration of their ability to both score and allow opponents to score. The Giants and Phillies played over the total in four of their last five meetings. This total is only this low due to Oracle Park in San Francisco 
Francisco being rather pitcher friendly. While that's true, both of these pitching staffs are more than capable of allowing their fair share of runs. Both teams have bullpens ranked in the bottom half of the league, and I don't trust either starter right now as far as I can throw them. And these are two teams that have found themselves in their fair share of high scoring games as of late. I look for this one to be high scoring as well. There may not be another 18 runs scored by the Phillies on Friday, but there should still be more than 8 or more runs scored. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.